Right now. Right now, right now. Intro. What's good, fellas? Ladies not with us tonight. I don't know where they at, you know. Get well, ladies. Get show, well, show. get well. See you soon. See you soon in 2020. Uh, I'm Pew. God bless. Good skin, good water. Got law. Good drink, good water. Okay. What the fuck is that? Good drink, good water. He got good skin, okay. good water. I want to have good drink, good water. Hey, man. You feel it's me? going in 2020, man. You Yeah, yeah 2020, I'm acting different. I ain't going to front. I'm letting niggas know off rip. I'm acting different in 2020. Yeah. I ain't going to speak to a couple of niggas. <laughs> you feel me? I said, I'm rolling. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Y'all got any uh, plans for New Year's Eve? I'm chilling. Chilling with the fam? Yeah. I ain't got no plans as of right now, but um, I'm definitely interested to find something. Yeah, me too. I ain't gonna lie. As long as I'm somewhere getting drunk, you feel me? Doing what I gotta do. Yeah, shout out to y'all niggas, man. Y'all got any New Year's resolutions y'all wanna make? Huh? Do y'all do New Year's re- re- resolutions? I used to, but then after a while, like, you was like, it bullshit. <laughs> I was just like, nah. I, it's just, I, was, I felt like I was more focused when I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna do this shit. I just set goals. Yeah. That's New Year's resolution, nigga. Okay. If you set goals at New Year's, yeah, that's New Year's resolution. I'm right? setting goals throughout the whole year. Mm-hmm. Talk to them. Teach these steps. That's why it's like, it's kind of weird when you announce it. We don't announce shit till it's done. That's good shit, though, man. But yeah, this is the last episode of 5 o'clock at the barbershop of 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we put some hand clap right there. Yeah. That's a fact, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. And normally, you know what, man? Let's talk our shit. Cause normally, you know, we always humble. But it's been a good fucking year for the podcast. Bro. Yeah, it's been has a been. great fucking year. It has been. been. A lot of growth. A lot, a lot of growth. Of growth. Yeah. Like, y'all niggas know, bro. What this shit was at this time last year, we ain't had no cameraman. Shout out to Uno Yerd. Mm-hmm. We ain't had no cameraman. We was out here just freestyle. Yep. We made it work, though. Definitely made it work. But now look at this shit. Niggas ain't seen it. Niggas ain't, you know what I mean? I'm we gotta talk go. our shit though. We I'm do got a long way to go. I'm ready to go. See? Nope. We gotta talk our shit though. You know what I'm saying? It's talk been a good fucking year. It's gonna be crazy year. next year. That's the crazy part. That's a fact. Niggas ain't even seen half of what we got in store. Nope. That's a fact. But yeah, man. Shout out to us, man. Shout out to fucking us. But yeah, so, um, what's up? This drink is really good. Hey, yo, Twan <laughs> should be a bot tonight. Trying to tell niggas. <laughs> Like every time we yeah, move, I, I thought about better. it, man. I thought this about drink it. This is really good. When I've been, to, I've been a bartender at a couple Can weddings, man. You, you know, make drinks under pressure. Though. I did. That's what I was saying, bro. Like I did it at the wedding. I did it at a wedding, and I did it at um, I did it at a birthday party. For real? Okay. Just took that shit over. I was like, all right, fuck it, I got it. There you go. Might be another business we might need to look into. I'm about to say, man. I don't mind making a drink. Niggas be drunk. You can pretty much de- say damn near anything, and it was like, I fuck with him. And after your third drink, it don't even matter what it tastes like. Yeah, that's yeah. facts. That shit, the first two strong. Yeah, cause I definitely play bartenders be giving me like water when I'm in the bar by my fourth drink. And I would listen to people. They're just like, you know, man, give me a little bit more. You know, I ain't, I ain't getting them more hard time about that. Tap that bitch. Hell yeah, as you it should. Ain't your liquor. It ain't yeah. your, that's, why, that's, that's my main point, dog. <laughs> like, fam, stop being stingy, my niggas. Ain't your liquor. You didn't buy it. So. Come on, dog. It's gonna be the same tab regardless. Yep. And I'm going to look out for you on the tip if you make sure you know what I'm saying. That's a fact. That's what I know because I'm a drinker. So, That's like, a fact. <laughs> I know make who sure I'm a tip. drinker, nigga. I'll tip all night. That's yeah. Facts. That's facts. Yeah. Got to tip your bartenders and your shirts. Shout out to them. Um, but yeah. We're going to jump right into it. Let's talk about them cowboys. Come on, dog. I was going to leave with some more. You know what I'm saying? What we doing? <laughs> We're talking about them what cowboys. What's I mean, look, on? we trash. What okay. happened? We trash. That's it. Fuck Jason Garrett. If I ever see a nigga on the street, it's on sight. What if this nigga come back? I'm gonna he fuck coming Jerry back. Jones up. He coming back. If he come back, I remind him to the Redskins. He not coming back. <laughs> Jason Garrett out here. They got Alex Smith in the front office. He doing personnel. Jason Garrett is sort of dead. He out here. here first. He out here. And we missed the playoffs. Get back with Dwayne. Watch out now. Might be interesting. It's gonna be good. Cause the the last few weeks, you're getting better. I just need Seattle to win this week. Who they got? San Fran. Mm. They already beat them once. They, they, that's sweet. Yeah. yeah. They can win the division with this one. You know what I'm saying? The San Fran will be a wild card. Yeah, they have saying. to come to Philly. Man. San Fran won some bullshit ass games, boy. Yeah. That's facts. That's what I'm saying. They can't do this shit again next year, so. 
And I know they're not going to the Super Bowl this year, so that's what I'm like. You know who I got going to the Super Bowl out of NFC? Who? Saints. I can see that. I can see that. Drew Brees just broke the record. He hungry. And he quiet like that. I don't give a fuck about football no more. I don't give a fuck. Yo, bro, like when your team is ass, dog, you really don't give a fuck about watch basketball. We we are alright, my nigga. Uh-huh. Six is alright. <laughs> Six is alright. Four seed in the East. We are we alright. What number are y'all? Oh, the fifth. So oh. I mean we better than y'all. <laughs> hey. Hey, that's my point. Hey. That's my point, man. We be better than y'all niggas. Just know y'all got all y'all players. Shout out to the Clippers though for dogging the motherfucking Lakers though. Let's talk about that. Talk about the Kings of LA, you nigga. You gotta finish. Kawhi niggas Leonard. don't wanna hear me. I yeah, told niggas what was going Kings happen. of LA, nigga. Okay. I told niggas they the best LA. team in LA right now. You tried to tell niggas you just that. You gotta finish. That's all. Gotta close games. We can't close when they when the claws on niggas, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's can't Brian. Cl- you gotta talk to Brian. Can't close when <laughs> you know what I mean. Can't close when PG on the wing, man. PG wasn't too much of a fact. Yeah, but he did. Kawhi. Kawhi. Kawhi gonna be Kawhi. He's different. He's different. He's different. He's special. I I, I can't say. When Braun's done, it's Kawhi's lead. It's not. It's almost close to being Kawhi's lead right now. Yeah. If Braun don't win one this year or next year, if Kawhi won one this year, it might turn. It might be his lead. It, it, yes. What? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he yeah. go back to back. Yeah. Back to back in two yeah. different teams. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's crazy. <laughs> he yeah. Jordan. He did Jordan. <laughs> yes, he yeah, did Jordan. He yeah. do that. Bull. He do that shit. I, you know what? He got three rings now. He would have three. Oh no! He, no, got, he got three, three now. now. He got one with the Spurs. Nah, he ain't right. He only got, he only he got, got one with the Spurs. Oh, yeah, he only got one with the Spurs. Yeah, he got one with the Spurs. He got two finals MVPs. Mm-hmm. So if he win again this year, that'd be three. Three with three MVPs? Yeah, you Jordan, nigga. With three different teams? <laughs> you Jordan, my nigga. <laughs> you Jordan. That, that nigga, you Jordan. Yeah. That's gangster. That's crazy. His resume going to look better than Braun like that? It's going to look better than Braun. A lot of people, uh, resume is going to look better than Braun. Facts. Nah, I can't say that. When it comes to winning, the oh, winning well, yeah. aspect, yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Bron gonna have every record before he retired. That's cool. Yeah, and those records gonna eventually be broken by somebody else. I don't know. Hmm? Are, you, are you seeing these kids? I mean, these kids ain't that dope though. Nah, they are. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna see another LeBron for a long ass time. Yeah, because if LeBron like left right now, I wouldn't know who would be the next nigga. Up. Like by the time Kobe got, like by the time LeBron was in the league and Kobe was on his way out, we said LeBron next. I see it. When LeBron go, it's like, man, I don't know. I, I don't know what nigga gonna be up there. So it's gonna be Kawhi. But I don't think Kawhi gonna break. But Kawhi had a slow start, so he's not gonna be able to break. You know, LeBron's oh, it's gonna break records. records. Yeah. Oh, Giannis for sure. Oh yeah, Giannis for sure, and yeah. Luca, Giannis yeah. and Luca for sure. Yeah. Those yeah. two for sure. Yeah, I get yeah between the two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta nah, see it. I gotta see nah, it. Nah, 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 nah. I saw. Here's <laughs> why LeBron nice. is so special, bro. Like, he's in year 17 doing this shit. Yeah, facts. That shit don't happen, my nigga. Facts. That's facts, though. That shit does not happen. He's putting True. up 27 points a game in year 17. Well, back to Wayne, Paul. I'm going to say Giannis can definitely I don't know. do that shit. Big man don't last long. Let's be real. Is he really a... I mean... He, he's yeah. definitely a big man. Yeah, he's a big man. That nigga is definitely a big yeah. man. And big man do not last long. They get a good seven to eight year window, and then it's kind of like the White House. They just around. So I don't know. I don't know if the White House was ever the athlete Giannis is. Yeah. Oh, y'all got the, y'all got young. The White House fucked up. He he's, he, he can shoot. Yes. Giannis can shoot now. He's shooting now. That nigga made five threes, man. I don't say he's shooting. That's one, and that's in one game. I don't know if he can shoot though. <laughs> now, if you ever get a jump shot, that nigga. If you can do it in a game like it's coming, that, though. you that see nigga it will coming. Change. That nigga will change. I can see it. Giannis' development is crazy. How it has passed uh, Ben Simmons' development. Yes, sir. That was just a shot for no reason. I mean, we wouldn't even talk about that. That was a crazy like, shot. For no reason. <laughs> I just thought I mean, about it. Come on, they only play the same position, dog. <laughs> like that's, Giannis the better I mean, crazy. Than I mean, they don't have the ball in their hand at the end of the day. They get they get a lot of shot attempts. I don't know. He ain't say Joel and B though. Nah, I'm saying I don't my, know because my nigga's development. He's very inconsistent. Yeah, I know that's his problem. Yeah, he like, gave me a game with zero points. That happens. It doesn't. It happens. Not, not for a big. Not for grace. It happens, bro. You right underneath the basket. We want to run into Pacers zero-point niggas. <laughs> I mean, 
we are literally winning because everybody's getting the ball. But y'all not winning more than we are. <laughs> so I mean, I don't want to hear the fuck shit. out of here. It's logic. It's math. It's one game difference. That means we won more. Fuck There's only three teams in the East that matter. And we went on Christmas because that's what we do. Y'all always say that, man. Just know we fifth without Depot. That's the Bucks, the Heat, and the Sixers. That's it, dog. Word. That's really it when you think about it's it. It's a throw up between the Sixers and the Celtics. But you don't know what Celtics team is coming. Ooh. I don't know if the Celtics are better than the Pacers. I appreciate no, all the, that. No, all the Depot. I haven't seen this team with all the Depot. So I'm going on what we got right now. Bring up a good point, bro. I was trying to shoot y'all some bail. He brought up a good point. I don't know what to do now. Nigga, bro, I'm not averaging about 20 something game. That's, That's cool. cool. I still got y'all at a fifth seed. Fifth seed, my nigga. We shouldn't be in the race at all. Yo, you can't keep using that it's same still, argument every still time. Being in the race? You can't. It's not, by the way. You're in the playoffs. No, it's that's not, not being in the race. It's eight right. teams. And you wanted to fifth. And you fifth. You, you damn near at the bottom. You're at the bottom. You don't get home court advantage. So that's not in the race. And remember this towards the end of the season, Rudy. If you don't have home court advantage, I don't want to hear shit. Well, no, I'll make some excuses. You three. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. It. I'll make some excuses. That's what I do. That's what I do. But yeah, shout out to everybody. I team. feel like if you the AFC, you're not in the race. You just did. Y'all three spots higher than the AFC. Exactly. So think about that. It's only five, eight, it's five, only five eight five spots. Is, five is closer to eight than it is to one. Like, that's, thank you. That's it's a fact. That is, that is a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. If we were playing like highest common denominator, y'all would be close to the AC. So with you being at four, y'all Listen, more respectful. I don't make the rules, bro. <laughs> I don't make the rules. Four, so tell me shit I've four heard. is closest to one than it is eight. Four is even. Four is even. So it could fall in. <laughs> even and odd numbers is no way. Think about it like this. Everybody at home, you we see. We one of the best eight teams in the NBA. I did not say that. We are, because it's four teams in the West, four teams in the East. Well, there's only three teams in the West that matters. And I'm talking about get our records, y'all definitely, they're probably not, compared to the West. We, we, we can't, we can't, we can't nah. go based on that. All we can go is based on rankings. We're going our best teams in the NBA. We got to look at everybody's no, record. No, we got to go off rankings, bro. And right <laughs> now. It's the Clippers, the Lakers, the Rockets. Hey, shout out to James Harden. I hate you, but that nigga is scoring. He nice. That nigga scoring, scoring. Are they going to win? No, they're not. Come out, are they gonna come out the West? No, it's gonna be tough. They beat the Clippers already. They're not coming out the West. Until I see it, I'm not believing. Kawhi seven games with it's Paul be, George. Exactly. It's gonna be a uh, <laughs> and Pat the, the West uh, playoffs games gonna yeah, be real bro. good. What? The East game just gonna be a, some shit of potential. <laughs> now we come to Sixers and who we got? Now we're about to six. Play the Heat is over. Cause y'all ain't got Jimmy Butler no more. You missing the y'all home? We gotta, y'all gotta come to Miami. We'll buy that. We beat the Heat already. Y'all did? Yes, we okay. beat the Heat. All right. Shut Jimmy B down. Miami gonna be different if y'all doing. gotta play Jimmy Butler in the playoffs. Jimmy Butler gonna be fucking shit. That nigga coming for blood. He ain't doing shit. He not going. He not looking to the Sixers in the playoffs. I'm gonna wait on that. Body them niggas, son. We gonna see. We gonna see. What we do, fam? Well, fuck all that, man. But yeah, shout out to sports. My team trash. Fuck the Cowboys and Jason Garrett. Eagles. Yeah, I gotta come out to Super Bowl. I mean, um, come out to AFC. Mm. Between uh, Ravens and Patriots. I, I, I just don't, I don't count the Patriots out, bro. Never do. Never I'm will. Not against the Pats, bro. Never will. With the Ravens, I can see them coming out. Never will. I got, I got, but I definitely got the Saints coming out in the NFC. NFC, who else we got? We got the Saints. Packers. Packers. Whoever come out of the Seattle, San Fran. Both of them going to play out. Yes. I got Seattle, Baltimore. If. You know what? Not even going to if. I'm going to phrase it. I got Seattle, Baltimore. Seattle, Baltimore. And I got. Unfortunately, not unfortunately, because I fuck with Russ. I got Russ getting his second Super Bowl. I don't see Seattle beating the Saints because the Seattle defense is going to kill that offensive line that Russ got for sure. I seen Russ work some magic, man. That nigga's and a magician. They got DJ Swanger and Janoris Jenkins now. Yeah. That nigga's a that nigga's a magician, bro. He do some he do some wild shit. Russ different. He different, bro. With the Saints. By like his progression, Saints is crazy. They deep now. 
They got an angle front. They got yeah, they did. And if AB sign, <laughs> pack the shit up. What's that, AB? Yeah, I'm going to put my money on the window. <laughs> yeah, quick. Win the whole thing. I might put my money on the win the whole thing tomorrow before they sign AB. So maybe AB ain't raped that shit. Maybe he didn't. We ain't heard of that's about it. Because if the Saints trying to sign that nigga, maybe they might know something. They say they talked to the NFL before even giving them a workout. That's what I'm saying. So maybe they might know something, and maybe something might come out in the next couple of days to be like, oh, Troy was lying. Sean Payton said, fuck the bullshit. Because there's no way if trying to win. He's trying to win. Yeah, but there's no way if he had a rape case that was still like active, active, mm-hmm. then they would sign him. But there's no active case. It's just him in the NFL. The that's same. The only case. I mean, that's the case. I mean, yeah, yeah. The yeah. same team that had Bounty Gate wouldn't do that. But that's gangster though. Nah. I'm just that saying. game was hard. That was hard. I'm not. I mean, and I ain't pulled the breath off anyway. So Artigates, I was hyped. Gates is hard. No, that's bad game. Bad game was some pussy shit. And it still continues to this day. Don't get caught, nigga. Don't get caught. There's only caught. one fucking team doing it. <laughs> well, the, guess what? It's literally only up. one team doing, getting spy gated. It's not the teams doing it. They just ain't getting caught. Well, maybe my Cowboys should fucking do it. How about that? Because clearly that shit is fucking working. <laughs> So Jason Gary and Jerry Jones, maybe y'all should be spying on niggas, man. <laughs> God damn, bro. Deflate some balls or something. Man. God damn. I, I want my team to cheat. I want my team to <laughs> cheat. Like, God, I'm tired of being ass, dog. Like, these niggas piss me the fuck off, man. God damn. Fuck these I'm niggas. I'm content with my team. New state. Don't take trash, team. too, nigga. Don't try to sneak yes. over there. Facts. Brown's trash. Hey, let's talk about it, though. Jared Goff ass. <laughs> hey. Let's talk about that. Because hey. the Shree said that Jared Goff is the worst quarterback in y'all division. And I ain't going to say nothing. But that's what the Shree's are saying. So. That's what the Shree's are saying. That's not me. Kyler Murray better than Jared Goff? The Shree's are saying, man. Jared Goff. Who would you rather have? So, first of all, I Jared Goff Murray, does right? not have a 4 3 40. He, he's probably in a 5 6 40. I mean. So, that means he's not a mobile quarterback. With that being said, our whole offensive line changed this offseason. And we couldn't get that shit straight. The offensive line changed. These things matter. So. It definitely matters. We had a guy that we paid that was starting that right tackle when really the fucking rookie that we picked up in the fourth round is better than him. What did I got to do with Jared Goff? He, he never had the protection until we were on that three-game win streak towards the end of the season. He ain't had protection for 15 games. Which trying to yes. Yeah. And he's still top five in passing. <laughs> but those come in garbage time. He's still top five in passing. You can't say all that is in garbage time. Most I hate when you can say that. Most of it is in garbage time. So I don't know if most of that is. We got to put it in the top five in the NFL. I got seven wins. We just got eight. Oh, yeah. No. Nah. I'm tripping. I'm just saying what the streets are saying. And some, he lit y'all ass up. That's some Ws, bro. I'm just saying what the streets are saying. We lost to y'all, but we, he still lit y'all ass up. All right, then. So y'all lost us. I'm that's just, just saying. W, though. That's just the W. You talking about passing y'all's. I'm just saying with the streets. And his interceptions definitely do kill him, but this nigga be worried about getting the fuck sacks. That's all because Jameis won 30 million next year. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it too. He gonna get it. That nigga balling out. Who's gonna give it to him? Bucks. Nah, they I not. guarantee it. Not. Who else he gonna get? He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get it. I guarantee he gonna get third. Bro, the Bucks about to draft the quarterback. Oh, that'll be stupid. I just know for my team. This year ready to look totally different next year. Y'all should draft a quarterback. Like I said, it's gonna look totally different Y'all next year. Y'all should get Cam. Like I said, it's gonna look totally different next year. But we gotta do something with niggas' contracts. I don't know how we're gonna do it. But Brandon Cooks definitely has to be there. Cause that's $17 million of a third string wide receiver. It's time for him to go. Trash ass nigga. And we can't release him. Cause we release him, we give him $13 million. Man, I would pay the nigga get to get him the fuck up out of here. Nah. Cause we release him the next season, we only gotta pay him three thousand. <laughs> three million? No, three thousand. I think it was like three thousand, some shit like that. Yo, but I'm bringing cooks, I'm fighting everybody, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wanna keep me this year, man. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Right, like, don't try to do no funny shit. I want my thirteen million this nah, year. Fuck that. I'm sorry. Hey, look, if don't nobody want him, his ass is staying on this team. He's not producing though. Cause he fucking trash. He got a trash quarterback. Yeah, he do got a trash quarterback. Quarterback is not trash. All right. Let him go. He just needs a... He's a Peyton Manning-style quarterback, so his ass needs a Peyton Manning-style offensive line. We put all our money in the damn defense. Manning. 
Mitch Oliver paid Manning. We traded a quarterback. But I'm saying he's not paying Manning, bro. I, I'm not saying he it's, is, but of course he would. That's if you had to pick a nigga that could, that you could compare to Jared Goff, who you picking? Uh, Benny Tesori. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't even have no fam on him. Let's just cut that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Drew Blesser. Hey, Drew Blesser was nice for a short period of time. I don't know who to compare Jerry Goff to. Cause he fucking ass. Yeah, he is ass. Can't compare niggas. <laughs> so he's the worst quarterback in the NFL. I didn't say that. I mean, but I, I think it's Sam Darnold. And then I think it's like Jerry Goff. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. Andy Dalton. Yeah, Andy Dalton. Yo, how is he still in the fucking league? Uh, this nigga been ass Jerry like Goff eight years. Andy Dalton. No, he is. All right, he top three worst quarterbacks. Um, All right. Jerry Goss better than Baker Mayfield. Baker is fucking trash, bro. Yeah. You know what's funny? Yeah. I think if Jerry Goff had them weapons, oh, nigga, it'll be bad. If he was in Cleveland right now with that team. That'd be crazy. No lie. I could say that shit being some wild shit, though. Yeah. How you got Odell, Landry, and my nigga? Baker just fucking trash. Yeah. Now, and that was my guy. Ba- we ain't placing nothing to blame on Freddie? No. Coach? Yeah. I can't. Okay. It's terrible, Baker, bro. Terrible play for my quarterback. It's Baker, bro. You can't have old days. You can't have those weapons. And the not throws that I'm seeing. It's just not good. It's not terrible. Good. Yeah. It's just not good. It's just not good. So fuck it. Too much partying, bro. You can thank Johnny Manziel 2.0. I called it. Johnny Manziel 2.0. He just know how to duck it. That's it. Fuck that. Um, something else I did want to talk about, too. And I'm surprised that this artist decided to speak about it after the beef was dead. But did y'all see Drake's interview with um, B-Dot and Elliot? I saw some of it. Mm-hmm. You watched the whole two hours? No. Oh, okay. I saw like a man. I watched like an hour when I was on the yeah. treadmill, but it was just too long. But um, y'all saw him talking about Pusha again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched it, to be honest with you. Because shit, when I saw it, I was just like, this got to be clickbait. No, nah, it wasn't. <laughs> was it wasn't. He answered every question. He said a lot about Push Up again. He basically was saying, well, he basically was saying that um, he gave Push T a T a W because he didn't respond. And part of the reason why he didn't respond, because he felt like Push T, you know, the same shit he said on LeBron show. He felt like Push T crossed the line. Talking about his son. Um, he said he doesn't respect Pusha T because he doesn't believe his raps. Um, he said he doesn't believe Pusha T sold that many drugs. Um, he just felt like Pusha T was only relevant when he speaks about Drake. He said this. I'm not even. That last part is true. I'm not even like paraphrasing. He huh? Said this. No, he said this, bro. No, 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 no. I, I, I was listening that you, you're saying that he's only relevant because he speaks about Drake? No, he said when he speaks about Drake. That's the only time he's relevant. When that's a, when wait, that's wait, a, wait. You agree with that? That's, what we that's talk, why I'm like, that's what I had to rewind. Like, did I hear that? That's what we talk about Pusha T. Well, well, we, we're we always bad. talking about Pusha T when that. the album comes out. We're not doing that. When you're talking about the album, we're just talking about talking about Pusha T. When you're talking about having, him having yes, an album. Yes, we are. When else are you talking about niggas that got an album out? We talk about niggas all the time. Because they do fuck shit. They do fuck shit. That's a fact. Like, we never. Only they time do we hear about Pusha T is it, it went even when he was dissing Wayne or he dissing Drake. That's not true. That's, that's not that's true. Not, that's not even remotely true. That's fast. That's not true. No, it's not. That's fast. Not at all, bro. I'm not rolling with that one. Okay. We're not rolling. <laughs> not rolling. Not rolling. We literally gave, we was praising Push uh, for his album last year. That's a fact. That's okay. a fact. That's a fact. I like the album. Okay. So, um, before Drake just did this interview, What's the last time we talked about Pusha T? When he had an album out. No. It is true. No. So when he dropped the album with numbers on the board, niggas won't talk about it? Bro, what we doing? Bro. Pusha T is an old school artist. We only talk about it when he got an album. That's why I fuck with Pusha T. He don't do no extra shit. He don't do no interviews. Hey, nigga. We talk about Pusha T when he, when he throwing shots at somebody. When it's music related. That's all he do. That's how he, that's how he, that's how he, that's that's how he get, get, some, wow. get his shit going. You are wild. You are a wild nigga. It's the truth, man. It's not the truth. I like Pusha T. It's the truth. It's not the truth. <laughs> it is. Nah. Every release, we can find a shot around every release. Because niggas is dissing him. That's not true. 
That's like, that's why I don't like that. I don't like when the bigger artist diss a nigga, and then when you respond, he it's like out, he didn't come out with shots first plenty of times. That's not true though. Okay. If Drake dissed him on Two Birds One Stone, and then he came back and threw a shot, Bro, his he album. Didn't diss a Drake way before Two Birds One Stone. He got caught in the crossfire some way. That's what it is. Oh, okay. If I don't that's fuck with what, you. That's what. Then it, nigga, I don't fuck with your crew. <laughs> that's, nah, but it's the same thing Drake did. Like this nigga pretty much diss. Yay <coughs> on the jump that he, he um because he was scared of pushing that he gave the pusher. He dish he dish Yay primarily throughout that whole jump. But yeah, I'm not rolling with Drake. So that's why when he say he won, it's just like, bro, you wasn't even attacking your target. I'm not rolling with Drake. I just I just that's not that. true. Though. I agree with that last statement. That's all. I don't like when like because that's not that's not fair. Yeah, that's not true. And, and the only reason we say that is because Drake is the big artist. Yep, that's literally the only that's reason the only why. Reason. Cause you think that he's like you think Pusha T is not relevant because he's not in the limelight like Drake. Exactly. Fuck that. Niggas wait for Pusha shit, bro. Not because if Kendrick that, had said that same disc record and Drake said that, we'll all call Drake stupid. We're not saying that though. I'm just saying when the masses, we just, just, just going off the we masses. We can't worry about the masses. Yeah. The masses don't care about shit. The masses control everything. That's the what masses care about what's popular. They control of it. They yeah. control it, but it's a lot so of people. So whenever in the, the masses world. is talking about Pusha. It's something related to Drake. We can't control what the masses, dude. We talking about okay. him being relevant. That's all my nigga talking about. That's nah, that's not what he was talking true. It is. He said Pusha T. No, he's saying Pusha T don't matter. And that was a fucking lie. Come on, bro. That's I what Drake was saying. saying Come on. It is what he said. Keep going. If you say a nigga's not relevant unless you mention to me, that's yeah. me saying you don't matter unless you mention to me. Right. That's what you heard. Okay. Come on. Keep going. Am I confusing you? You're not confused. That's what I got from it. <laughs> like because every time we how, talk about the nigga, it's something him involving Drake. So, come on. Okay, so how about this time when Drake mentioned him? And, this, and see, and, and this is why it's going. Because now when Drake mentioned pushing, nobody say shit. This Drake's first interview about the shit though. When Drake dropped an album, I don't want to hear nothing. This, huh? is, is this not Drake's first interview? Like really? No, he did a LeBron about show about it. He definitely did it on LeBron show. What are you talking Le, about? Le, but LeBron, LeBron, LeBron said, said "Ask what questions. I tell you." They spoke about it. First of all, they was talking to each other like fucking daddy and son on they that shit. They spoke about it though. Well, Elliot and that nigga was a- a- actually answering questions. It's a year and a half later. It's the that's same cool. shit. You still talk about this Push shit. Push him won't even. That's my problem. Push him won't even talk that's about the shit. They asked him. It won't, he he won't like, they asked me about Pusha. Man, Drake did <laughs> Man, Drake know what was coming. Yeah. Drake know what was Chill coming. Out. Come on. Drake know what was coming. Yeah. Because he could have easily been like, man, that shit was almost two years ago. You know what I mean? I don't fuck with him. He don't fuck with me. Next like, question. You know, the people Next want, question. you know the people want to hear something about the shit. Come on now. Also, now Drake don't click big shit. Oh, that's what I heard. So Drake don't that's click big. That's what big artists always do. Come on now. Okay. So all big artists do click big. Come on now. So J. Cole do click big. J. Cole is a rare one. <laughs> yeah, no, it's quiet. It's a rare it's one. Quiet, it's quiet, man. It's a rare one. So tell me about Kendrick doing clickbait. He got a couple things. Huh? Kendrick got clickbait? He got, he got his shots. Kendrick so, got his shots. So you think throwing shots is clickbait? Some shots. Most When it comes around releases, yes. Yes, I, I, it I can't, is. I can't roll with that, man. But I, nigga, time, I can't roll with that. A nigga drop an album two months after he drop a diss track, then we're going to say it's for his rollout. Yeah, I can't, I can't roll with that. Before the niggas say it's for the rollout. No, a year before for a rollout, Fox no, Fox no. And if I dish you on my album, nigga, it's my album. I yeah. can dish you on my album. That's true. It's just here, 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 here. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing to base it off. So it really is not. It's nothing to base it off. Cause just you hear, you agree with it. I feel like album. when you release a song as your single, that's an issue. I'm Actually, this wasn't a single. Yeah, that, that wasn't shit was the that end was of the shot. album. All I'm saying is, I don't even own this album. No, nah, what was the, the, the outro what to do for more people to draw attention to infrared to listen to, infrared, yeah. to the music. That's all I'm saying. See, Jane, Drake is doing clickbait shit, which is my point about this interview, is that he wanted to talk about the shit. Yep. Okay. Because he, it's two years later. That it's means Elliot, this nigga is hurt. It's Elliot Wilson. You know he's gonna ask about the shit. Come on now. And you could just you Drake, you could be like, man, I ain't talking about that nigga. Then that makes the interview whack. So again, Drake is doing clickbait shit, which is corny. Because okay. clickbait shit is corny to me. Answer a question. That, no, that's not answering a question. No. Okay. Just not. How many niggas do we see turning out questions? Actually, not enough that I, like, I would love to see. Okay. I would love to see rappers getting back to the early 2000s with them just saying exactly. no comment. Yeah. Who said, like, I agree with that. I would that. love to who see said that. No, who, say, who says no comment? Not enough people. My point is accurate. But that's why it's corny. Everybody though. answers the questions. But that's why it's corny. <laughs> it's corny. Everybody answers I want to get questions. back to the early 2000s with niggas like no comment. No comment still works. 
It does. Niggas can easily say no comment, fam. I'm not talking about this nigga. No comment to me is cool if it's some legal shit going on. It's cool if you got if you just don't want to talk about it, nigga. Yep. Yeah, but I mean, if you want to talk about it, talk about it. And that's why I fuck with Pusha T because he canceled this whole interview he had lined up last year. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yo, fam, I don't want to keep talking about this nigga." I mean, that's, that's right. why I fuck with. When you do the shit. That's what happens. That's what comes with it. That's part of the territory. Nigga, I said it on record already. Okay, like, everything I said on record. And once I win a battle, I feel like you don't have the right to talk about it. No more. Once you lose, mm-hmm. I feel like you give up all you can right. Talk about victory to talk all the time. About. That's I'm talking about, about once you lose a battle. Hmm? I said, Phil, once you lose a battle, I feel like you give up your right to talk about that battle. Yeah. But you're right as in how? As in what? Because you, you lost, my nigga. Why are you talking about it? You, you lost. You still talk about it. No, no, you're not. You lost. That's stupid. You lost. You fucking lost. That's stupid. You lost. That's stupid. You can't talk about it no more. You talk about the Cowboys all the time. They lose well, all the time. Well, guess what? That's what we do. Nigga, <laughs> 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 yeah. said you lose, you can't. Oh, well, I, I had to think about what I was it's agreeing to. You was just agreeing. That's crazy. That's just stupid. <laughs> if you <laughs> lose a battle, you can't talk about it. Niggas, why? Niggas what are you lose talking about? shit all the time. What are you talking about? Talk what are you talking about? about? Stop it. Because now you Stop say it. I'm super corny dissing pusher after you the backed out. Them niggas forever dissing each other. Yeah. In this particular situation. You sound wild corny. Because he backed out of fight. To say he didn't want no smoke, and then you kept doing interviews talking about how you don't fuck with me. That's no, corny. It's fucking corny. That's corny. And that's my problem with Drake, dog. If niggas fuck with you, they'll let you slide with everything. Yeah. Drake even said, hey, I had to call Jay Prince. So why are you still talking about it? If you had to call another nigga to end this beef, why are you still talking about it? Did you they, corny. Did, did they not ask him a question about the beef? Yes or no? They can ask whatever they want to. I'm a man. I could be like, no. How many niggas is saying no? But last year, <laughs> if you said you had to call your daddy to end this beef. Yeah. And you called your dad to end this beef. Then stop talking about it. Because now if Pusha diss you again, it's going to be bad. Yeah. And you're going to be like, well, why he dissing me? Nigga, you just spoke about some shit you said was over last year. What are we doing? What are we doing? Niggas whack. They keep mentioning my though. name. He said it was over. Because he didn't put the second record out that he, that he said was going to end his career. That's a fact. When you okay. put out that next record, that's, that's you okay. saying... I lost, nigga. Yep. Oh, that the rap beef. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying it's corny, though. Can you say you got some in the stash? I thought the interview was dope. The interview was dope. They talked about more than just that shit. Man, that's what happened. But he do clickbait shit, so... That was just the part that, that you was attracted to. Because it's clickbait. I see people talk, um, attracted to other parts. They might try to know the possibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he did say he made Afro beats popular. He didn't say that. <laughs> it is what he's saying, fam. I'm not making up this he shit. He didn't say that. Bro, I can pull up the clip. When you paraphrase shit, you, you do it terribly. That's <laughs> no, that's what, what he, he said. said. <laughs> that's what he said. I'm using Wayne. Matter of fact, he said Wayne's bullshit argument just now. He said Afro Beats was already popular, obviously, in Africa. He said when he did One Dance and Controller, it made Afro Beats popular to the masses. That's what his the exact... The masses to where his music is being played. And that's what I just said. That's literally what I just said. No, 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 no. So no. He's saying he made it popular in the U.S. In the U.S., yes, that's what he said. That's what he said. That's a fair argument. Was Sean Paul making Afro beats? I don't know what's considered Afro beats. One dance type shit. That's that's a lot of. That, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's a lot of similarities. I'm not gonna say it's the same. I'm gonna say it's a lot of similarities. I'm just telling what Drake said, fam. Drake says I zone my. I didn't make this up. He said this. So Beanie Man does reggae. I'm telling you what Drake said. He said to the masses. <laughs> so niggas ain't even trying to get into this. I'm telling you what Drake said because all these artists existed, and that's why niggas was mad at him. That's my point. Are Latins black? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I said Are Latins black? They don't own their black. We never, we're not, not going to say that. <laughs> but Drake said that shit. He said he made Afro beats popular to basically to the US. And then everybody got mad. It was like, fam, we've been on the shit. You're a culture vulture. And he said he's not a culture vulture because he showed love to the culture. He does show love. Even though he's Canadian and raps in a Jamaican accent. And then jumps on Afro beats. That's Canadian. It's not Canadian. And he did blackface before. That. And he did black before. Any hit a child. Well, I, I do have. I can't vouch that Canadians have those accents, those Jamaican accents. Yeah, but this Canadian does. But the UK shit is trash. This Canadian does not. When you come with the British accent, that's when I don't like that. 
Hey man, Drake make good music. He can do whatever he wants to. Fuck it. UK shit trash. UK Drake trash. All that shit trash. Singing Drake is trash. That's not true. Some of that shit be trash. Trash. Like, give me a singing Drake song. That's trash. Just hold on, we go home. Get the fuck Just out of here. Just hold on, we go home. Nah, fire. that shit fire. That shit is not fire. That shit is fucking ass. That shit is fucking ass. That shit is fire. You tripping. Shit is no, fucking you, ass. You off the yeah, gas. Yeah, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. You caught a contact. You off the gas. You You're doing tripping. it wrong. Trash. What? Doing it wrong. Oh, trash. You're literally picking all the songs that I like. <laughs> This nigga tripping. Trash. Now, if you would have just said the whole views, I would have been like, Oh, yeah. The whole the, views? Well, half of views is trash. Over half. It's some trash on views, but. Half of views is trash. Definitely over half. Well, how many songs on that joint? Like 20? 20? It's, 10, it's like 21 songs in that bitch. It's probably less than, it's less than five no, I like. We're not going to do this. It's views less than black. five I like. Views is trash, nigga. The whole side B of Scorpion except Jaded. <laughs> <laughs> the whole side B. <laughs> Whole sap. Fire. Except Jay, because he was it. rapping. He was rapping. People but, love it. No. Nah. Don't kill people love. People love some whack shit. People love, love some, some whack shit. shit. People love some whack <laughs> shit, bro. People love some whack shit. People try to tell me Logic was nice. I'll never forgive y'all niggas for that. Logic can rap. He cannot rap. <laughs> Logic is fucking ass. Logic can rap. I'm tired of hearing about you half black and half white. We, we, we get it. Every verse We is get it, that. nigga. It, it's a, every it's verse has that. That is facts, though. Every verse isn't. Every verse is the suicide hotline. But he, but he does or, talk about that. I'm half black and half white. Well, before that shit even came about, I heard this nigga rapping about a whole lot of other shit. Besides yeah. that. His mom was being black and his dad was white. We get it. And the suicide hotline, 1 800. We get it, nigga. That's just two songs you know about. That's two songs. And they both his shit's are trash. So he got like, a song where he got. Yo, I hate niggas like that. They got five or six some albums. You picking two songs out to classify him as trash. Man, all them shit. Every logic the project, Okay, the project, I can't say he's trash. We in like a, the astronaut suit and shit. And I can't say he's yes, trash, but every verse I heard from him has been trash. You bugging? Just because you rap fast don't mean you sweet. No, this nigga I has agree. balls. What you bugging? He ain't got no balls, dog. You ain't got no fucking boss, man. Nigga, Logic is ass. You ain't never been nowhere and somebody say play that shit. You being a party for some Logic, logic niggas, nigga. We it's shut a lot of, shit. It's a lot of niggas that you don't say that to, but you listen to in your spare time. Nigga who? But you can't run. J. You can't, Cole. You can't use that Logic card. I listen to J. Cole unless it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> nah, J. Cole got some smooth ass music now. Yeah, I'm just... I just don't want to hear it on Friday. Friday in the day for J. Cole. But no, Logic, you trash. Um, it's a year later. How y'all feel about KOD now? I still love it. Still some mid. <laughs> like, still love it. That shit was some mid, my nigga. Like, still love it. Still love it. Watching all the artists die from the shit he talking about, I still love it. Watching the shit manifest. It's mid. I'm loving it. There's some joints on there. I ain't gonna front, but it's some mid. It's like for your eyes only. You got some joints, but for it's a mid. Fire. It's not. It is. It's not. So we waiting for this next cold album, basically. I don't know. I am. I mean, I'm gonna listen to it because it's cold. But cold on like a little three album streak where he kind of like, you know what I mean? We might gotta have an honest conversation about J. Cole. That's why I was asking how niggas felt about KOD. Right. He on a three album streak right now where he ain't looking too good. What ain't Miss Week? KOD and um for y'all's only. And then two. You said three. They go, my hot take that Drake your shit want that fire. Nah, it was too many cooks in the kitchen, bro. That's the point of the point, bro. I don't know if there was that like the Dreamville jump. It's a compilation tape. Okay, so he so he's on a two album streak. It's kind of late. That's why they said this album dropping next year. We'll see what it sounds like. You know what J Cole? You know my problem is J Cole is I want him to work with more producers. I want him to stop producing his own shit. He did that on KOD. For sure. No, I don't think he did. He did. I don't think he did. I'm he telling did. you, he did. I don't think he did. I'm telling you, he did. Well, pick different producers then, nigga. Pick the big name producers. And get some fucking features, my nigga. Like, I'm tired of hearing this nigga for 14 records, dog. That shit be fucking whack. It was cool the first time. <laughs> Should be hard. Like, 2014, it was cool. The Forest Hill Drive, I got it. All right, but it got whack. Should be hard. It don't be. She get you through your day. Like, I'm tired of this nigga, dog. Three verses and two hooks. Like, bro, I don't want to hit this shit with 14 tracks, bro. What you want to hear? 
Get some fucking features. Who, who you want to hear? He can get anybody. Just want him to get some shit with some bounce. No, just get some different niggas, dog. Like, <laughs> just get some different niggas. Go bring in Miguel to sing some hooks. Go get okay. Kenny for a verse. Okay. Go get uh, bring T Pain. I return. Go do something, my nigga. Like when, he, when him and Miguel did Power Trip, that shit was fire. Yeah, I agree. Shit he definitely was need. Fire. He definitely need to get back in his bag with his singers. Go I do agree that. With you on that. Cause I'm tired of the. I'm tired yeah. of him and Kendrick trying to do this singing shit. It's the trashest shit ever. I hate it. And it's like, dog, he be having so many songs. I'm like, damn, you'd have had Miguel or Chris Brown right here. Shit, we been fucking hit. Yep. And it's like, I think if you're an artist, dog, I think it's easy for you to get wrapped up into your own world. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're not careful, like, okay, I don't want to say he, he going to end up like Eminem, but I think that was Eminem's problem, is that he got too closed off, that he just didn't know what's in the dope no more. He just started putting <coughs> out some trash after trash after trash. And that's honestly what happened with 103,000. Go on there and put out trash. 3,000 there and put out trash. <laughs> Wait a minute. With some trash. Name some trash. What's the last 3000 album you heard? Album? With some trash you heard. We ain't gotta do that. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. You know, it's just it's the end of the year. I'm not even gonna do that. Fuck it. When 16 ain't enough. That verse won't that dope. Yo, I yo, you three stacks fans gotta stop hyping with that little 16 verse. That shit was not that fucking dope, dog. That shit was not that. If that was anybody but 3,000, niggas would not be hyping up that verse, dog. Okay. That shit was not that dope. That's not true. And the ah. Anderson Pack verse last year was kind of whack. Well, this year. Oh, uh, tripping. Tripping. All right, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he snapped that dog. He that just rapped fast. That record fat. That record fine. Look at the lyrics. I don't want to have to look at the lyrics, man. That's my, that's my point with these niggas, man. I don't so want to have to look at no lyrics. How do you say the verse trash if you don't know what he's saying? Because I don't know what you're saying. The verse is whack. I can't agree with that. And also, Andre 3000, you can definitely hear what he's saying. Yes. You might have to replay it. But you definitely can't hear what he's saying. You know my problem with Andre? He never raps about what the song is about. <laughs> like that nigga just go off in his own world. I can give you that right there. <laughs> that nigga going off in his own world. I'm like, oh okay, fam, this is a love song, and you over here talking about Pluto. Like, dog, relax. <laughs> this nigga never sticks on topic, bro. He's right. just that his his metaphors. No, he be off topic. His metaphors go a little crazy. But nobody gonna say it because it's like you it's got all on. I feel like it's all on top, but he just take it to a different place. Yeah, I know. A wild place, <laughs> nigga. A wild ass place, dog. That nigga different. Nah, I saw the interview with Rick Rubin. I didn't. I don't want to. I don't really want to see it. I heard it. I didn't see it. I heard it. He said the reason yeah. why he didn't put out an album though is because he was scared of. Well, not scared. He said he felt pressure of living up to the hype of basically what people had made, mm. which is ironic because that's what I've been trying to tell niggas all the time. What? How do, how do you do this? How do you do no, this? No, first of all, I'm trying to tell you. I think what Andre 3000 was saying is that he wasn't fucking with what was going on. And he didn't know how to incorporate it in his music mm-hmm. and be successful with it. No. That's what I got from it. No, he was saying that he felt the pressure. He said, basically, he was saying he was scared to drop an album and it'd be labeled whack. That's what he said. Yeah. And then he followed it up with the hype of who he's become. And that's my point of when we just label niggas as God MCs. And I'd be like, why? This is why. You got you got a nigga that's saying that. Like, bro, he feel pressure to drop it out. Because niggas has labeled him this God MC. And that's my point. Like, fam, we just be giving out that title for no fucking reason. Now look. Niggas scared to drop an album now. He one nigga. I can name a bunch of niggas that we ain't got to do it right now. Who? Nope. No, we can do that. Nope. It's a couple of niggas, though. Who? I'll think about it. I'm going to like say it. So it looked like you was about to say Kendrick. Hey, man. I ain't want to, you know. Hey. Kendrick, nice. Kendrick is out rapping out your 3000. I'm just real. Yeah. 
Hey, no argument from me. No argument from me. Kid is dropping next year. Well, he should be. If he doesn't, he's gonna drop. We gotta talk. We gotta. Re, we gotta. We gotta talk about Kendrick. That's probably what. I had to move him around on my rank as if he. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. It don't sound too crazy. They don't drop that, bro. It's it don't sound too crazy. They'll do it. Three years now, bro. It don't sound too crazy. Yeah, in your prime, man. That's Kobe. why I gotta respect you can't Drake. Be out here. You can't be Kobe sitting out for three years. That's why Drake's number one. That nigga come every year. He don't give a fuck. The whack and not. He dropping. <laughs> That's why I fuck with my nigga. He I don't care. He don't care. An album out every year. Cole, if you don't put out no fire ass album like like some Friday Night Lights or some mm. Forest Hills type look, shit, that's real shit though. He might be the same. It might just be an easy landslide for Drake, bro, in the long run. And this is why back to our old debate, the reason why I said it's a clear slide from Drake number one is because dog, we we take Drake for granted how many hits this nigga puts out. It's not easy to put out that many hit records, dog. But that's facts. Cause look at the niggas you just named, Cole and Kendrick. It's not easy, dog. Yeah. It is not easy. And even though we might hate views, a lot of people love views. Love views. Yeah. A lot like love views it. Views got some records on it. Think about what I just said. I, I thought you doing it wrong was whack. You thought it was dope. That nigga got hit fucking records, dog. For 10 years straight. Yeah. We ain't seen nothing like this nigga, dog. This nigga Chico. That's why he hit Arsenal Decade. Not even him, close. Him and Beyonce. I would say he's over Beyonce. Nah. For the decade, one thousand last ten years, yeah, numbers back it up, bro. He, yeah, he, he ain't doing it. She doing the same number. She not. Nah, now over the last ten. She years. not for R and B. She nice. not. She ain't put out the same she, amount of music. Yeah, I gotta say, she ain't got the same amount of music. Bro. She ain't got the same. Yeah, it's not close. When, okay. it, when it dropped, it's crazy. But she definitely has sold more than since two thousand ten. Yes, sir. One thousand percent. Hell yeah. Well, Beyonce put out two thousand ten. This nigga Drake got platinum records we ain't never even talked about. That's a fact. I sent y'all that list one time while I was on the website just going. <laughs> like, 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 I got, got tired. I got tired. They got Black, Black Boy JB a platinum record, bro. Like, he he's turned some to crazy fat. niggas. He turned he's, to... He's starting careers. He turned a fat gay nigga into a <laughs> pop star. He's talking about McConan. McConan. Nigga was doing hair in Atlanta. And he gave him a number one record. He did. Think about this shit, man. Effortless. Come on, dog. What you call him? A fat gay nigga. Well, he is fat and gay. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> bro, you don't know if he's gay. No, he's gay. No, he's gay. no, he's openly gay. You know what? I did see the noise. He he yeah, he definitely did say he was. Yeah, he, he's openly gay. He's openly gay. Any from Atlanta, so there you go. Yeah, yeah I mean, but yeah. Shout out to Drake, it's number one. Yeah, most definitely. Besides Drake, who y'all name was the artist of the decade? Beyonce. The rappers. Pick? Yeah, the rappers. Oh. I probably go with Cole. I'm putting Kendrick over Cole still for the decade. I was debating. I would have, well, I'm going to say Cole only because I feel like Cole has better projects this decade than Kendrick. I feel like Kendrick album is going to leave more of an impact. Mm, yes. I think Kendrick has the best album between them with Good Kid Mad City. I give him that. Um, okay, I got it. Crazy question. And then the pimple butterfly, I feel like that's a joint you can tell your like when, your kid uh, to get hip to some shit to listen to. When Kendrick die, which one of his albums you think gonna be the one that's gonna get the most? To Pimple Butterfly. That no, shit is that. gonna be one of the most no, quotable no, albums no, when he's no, dead, no, bro. Good no, kid Mad City. It's good kid Mad City. Good kid Mad City is second best album of this decade to me. When niggas go back and listen to the Pepper Butterfly, they gonna say it was me. When this nigga, when he, none of that shit for real. Never, never, never Pepper Butterfly. Fans? I, don't I think say it's that. gonna be between like Section Eight and Damn. I don't think it's gonna be none of them. Shit. I don't think it's gonna be Damn. I, I, I would say for right. the fans, I would say Section Eighty. Um, I still think it's some Jones on OD. I'm saying, I'm saying for the fans, I still think OD got some Jones too. Massive. It's definitely probably good kid Mass. It's good. It's good kid Mass City now. For fans, I would say Section 80. For me personally, because that junk has shit like Rigor Mortis on there and um, Ab Soul's outro, Section shit like that. Not better than good kid, man. It's not. It might not be better, but I know fans, even though Spir- uh, Spiteful Chance on yeah, there, that's so my favorite song. Yeah, like, I won't expect nothing like that. I saw him perform that shit live, too. Was it hard? What? When he performed it? Yeah. 
It was like early in his career too. Kendrick mm-hmm. was supporting Kendrick to be a Kendrick hater. I love Kendrick. Kendrick. I saw Kendrick. He performed at um, this club in Norfolk. This is how early it was, dog. He was co headlining a tour with Stally from MMG, dog. Mm-hmm. And Stally, matter of fact, I took that back. Stally was the headliner. Mm. Kendrick opened up. He was in Norfolk. It may have been three, four hundred people in that bitch, dog. And he performed Section 80. And I, and I never heard him at this time. And my homegirl, she was like, nah, I'm telling this nigga dope. Come see him. I was like, all right, fuck it. And this nigga rocked that crowd. I told my homegirl, I said, oh, I fuck with this nigga. He about to blow up. Man. And then three months later, Swimming Pools came out and this nigga was the biggest shit ever. Swimming Pools. That shit was, I was like, but when he rocked that show, that's why I fuck with Kendrick though. Because even though it was 300 people in that bitch, he put on the show, bro. Yep. And that's why that shit matters, dog. Because no matter how big the crowd is, that nigga was hype. Mm-hmm. That nigga was lit. I fuck with that nigga. He did that shit. When I first heard that song he did with um the Pimp C sample, I forgot what it's called. Um, the pussy ass niggas, I can't fuck with y'all shit. I forgot what it's called. What are you talking about? Um... But when he did that shit, I was like, oh, this nigga the goat. <laughs> this nigga the fucking goat, nigga. He, he said with Pimp C? I was like, this nigga the goat. But yeah, shout out to Kendrick, man. I, I, I do say that. But I think Cole had overall with that. Because even though Good Kid is, is dope, I think, even if we say Section 80, I think Cole, Friday Night Lights is, mm-hmm. it may not be better, but it's right there to me. I love, that's my favorite Cole project ever. I fucking love that project. I was listening to it the other day. I was like, this shit got I'm better. Si- I'm signed last so, You know how we feel about that. Album. That shit hard as a mug. Yeah. And then you go to Forest Hill Drive, you got Born, Born Center. Center. I'm gonna have to say Cole is slightly high. Slightly, just just like. But if niggas wanna say Kendrick, I'm not mad at that. I say Cole got more hits. Cole but he definitely hits. got more hits. He definitely yeah. got more hits. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what make it feel like he probably got like a little more head. Yeah. Kendrick a harder rap. Here's what's next though. Let's say we got Drake, Cole, Kendrick, one, two, and three. Who's four? That shit is always hard to figure out. Future. That's what I was hoping somebody say. Cause we, I say people never mention Future as one of the artists of the decade because he trapped. But take away the big three. It's Future, dog, to yeah. me. Yeah. He's very consistent. Consistent like a motherfucker. Now I would debate between him and Meek. No, nah, I'm not. But Meek first album was so kind of whacked. I was kind of like, I'm not doing it. I'm not debating. Yeah, that's definitely not a debate. That's not a debate. I'm with y'all niggas. I got Future at four. Then I got Meek and Big Sean fighting for fifth. Right. I'm going Sean. Nah, Big Sean got me. I'm going Sean. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, yeah. whoa. Go whoa, ahead. Let's go to whoa, six. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Which, one, whoa, which one are we giving to me? Whoa, which one are we giving to me? Everybody, whoa. What? Let's go to six. He might make six. How is Sean over Meek? Oh, no, no, no. You got Sean over Meek too? Yeah. You got right. Sean over Meek? How? Hey, how is Sean over Meek? I'm putting Sean over Meek, bro. How? Is Sean harder than Meek. First of all. You talking about career wise. How is Sean doper than Meek? Sean never fell off. Whoa. Have See, we heard of Sean Project in the past three years? Yeah, that's a little. In have the we, last three years? Have we heard of Sean Project? Last, last two three. years. What was his last year? Oh, it might be a year. His last couple of Johnson's bad. Well, no, bad. the last two years. I think I had a single artist release. He only dropped the um the last jump. When so I'm what has Sean, what has nah. Sean done? He got the jump with Metro. And that was whack. You count that? That was out. Yeah, that was out. That shit trash. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yep. That's Jungle Jump out of the window. That was fine. So you only had one bad project? No, fuck's no. His first album was whack as a bitch. Found the Famous? That shit was whack. I don't think it was whack. Wow. He only got, to me, Sean only got, okay, no, not say only, but this Dark Sky Paradise and That's his Jump best album. that came out after that. I forgot what it was called. But those two is only good albums. Sean isn't a good album artist at all. Meek is a good album artist. Uh, no, no, no. Championship was fire. Championship was his best album. Championship was fire. That's the, a, that's, the whole that's Dream Chasers, the whole Dream Chasers mixtape series. Oh. DC one, DC two, and DC three. We ain't got a front. <laughs> what is Finally going Famous on? Volume one, two, and three. It's is not well. better than DC at all. The mixtapes. It's not better oh, than you're DC. Bugging. It's not better than DC. Volume three is better than all that no, shit Meek put out. That's crazy. Okay, let's do it. Volume three, Big Sean. Let's do it. Oh yeah. no. Nah. Let's do it. That's, no, sir. That's crazy. What's your no, password? Sir. What's the password? What's the password? Mm-hmm. But go out and bake this shit right now. Fuck no, nigga. 
But no, nah, Big Sean should never rank high than Meek Mill, who's actively putting out music for the past. Meek Mill went to jail, came home, and still out doing Big Sean. Big Sean been free. And now all he known for is fucking Janae Aiko. Which I get it back on the scene. Hmm? Meek Mill did better in his battle with Drake. And let's be real, Big Sean ducked that smoke from Candyman. He did. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about Murder Inc. Yeah. Who has came yeah, for Kendrick? Yeah, I'm just saying. Kendrick Who came was, for Kendrick? Kendrick was coming to him, though. Who came for Kendrick? I mean, with the two hours of summer, they both got body. Uh-huh. Meek got body. That actually proved my point. Meek got body that came back. Not the baddest. He got body that came back. You know how hard that is? Okay, so you, we'll give him that spot for that. Yeah, bro. Finally, Famous Body 3 is better than... It's not. But we're going to give Meek five. Because <laughs> Meek has been more active than Big Sean. Can we disagree on that? No, I'm not giving him five. <laughs> Meek Mill is five. Since 2010? Since 2010. The I'm a Boss, the Amen Records, the House Parties, the Championship Jones. Come on, dog. We might have to give it a Rick Ross before Meek, though. Mm. Man, that's fact. All day. So you said I'm a boss. I look at Rick Ross from the previous generation, though. All right. What are you talking he came about? He's talking about the last 10 years. I'm gonna fuck when they came out. Nah, man. He when Teflon Don came out, what, 09? Yeah. The nigga just put out that. All right, fuck it. I get rid of all that. <laughs> so now Big Sean falls even lower. Okay. So does me. Okay. So does okay. me. So I got Rick Ross at five. I got Rick Meek Ross, at six. He should be up there, bro. So, nah, Rick, so, so Rick Ross is at five. Meek at six. Sean at seven. Or hit me out. Does Sean belong at seven? Or does Wale belong at seven? Let's talk about Sean. it. Sean. Let's like talk Wale. about it. Because the last like, 10 years, oh, he took some hits. Like, Wale got some shitty hits. Like he got some hits, but he took some hits. Bro. And he got better albums than Sean. I'm saying it right now. Mm. Saying it right now. That might be true, too. Saying it right now. <laughs> saying it right now. <laughs> All right, cool. We got Wale at seven. Big no, Sean is at eight. No, no. I, I'm cool. No, with this is Rudy's lesson. That's wrong saying, anyway. Do Wale be going on streaks? Do he be having like he feel real spotty to me? If we being real, Wale has not missed on the album since. Get the fuck out of here! What album he heard was wet. Ambition was not that great. Ambition was sweet. What's Ambition right? was hard. What's going on? I it was it was hard, fam. What's going on? That shit was not hard. They had the um, Lotus Flower Bomb record on the right. Yep. Come on, dog. You buck. Yeah, come on, dog. You buck. You buck. One song. Yeah, um, the, the ambition record with, uh, with uh, Rick Ross. My nigga, that shit was hard. I can't believe it. I can't believe If you say saying Big Sean got whack, I mean, got good albums, nigga, you can't call. Uh, Look, we going all mixtapes as well. Big Sean wins, bro. I don't know if he does, bro. I'm putting Wale at uh, seven. Word. Putting Big Sean at eight. Let's just go to nine. <laughs> nine? I mean, shit. Is that Sean? Is, does Sean make the 10 for the decade? Oh, yeah, he does make top 10 for the decade, yeah. Decade for sure. It's a close. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with Big Sean at eight. Because I don't know who else would even fall in the top two. You feel me? Who else fall in the top two? Who else came out this decade? It means a lot of trash, but who else lasted this long? You feel me? Well, well was Ye in this decade? Yeah, I don't think Ye. Oh, shit. Yay. Yeah. Oh, Sean got to go to nine. Yeah, that's what yeah. Sean got to go to nine. Sean might not make the 10. Yeah, he might. Oh, shit. We got cool Jay Z. Might not be no room for it. We include Jay Z. Jay Z was dropping shit too. Oh, Sean number eleven. It's a lot of niggas just moved down. Sean it ain't even a big three no more. Sean number well, no, it's still a big three because yeah. Cole Kendrick and um yeah, for sure. Drake still over um Hov and um yeah definitely. So Roy, right, it's not that bad. Yeah. Definitely, that De- definitely Hov. Now, now, sure. now that I'm looking at it and hearing what we saying, his list not that bad. I don't think about that one right over here. Mm-hmm. It's his, just the, his order might be a little. The YG off. one threw me off. I got that album on top ten though. That album was hard, but yeah. Top so Big Sean, Big Sean eleven. So Big Sean don't crack top, top ten. Cause if we include the niggas like that, Big Sean don't crack top ten. I Man, we're including everybody that had a run from ten. So that means Meek don't either, cause Meek was just over top him. Nah, Meek was out there. Meek in top ten. Meek not like probably ten. Yeah, Meek. T- yeah, he probably yeah he ten. He was exactly. like. What it was? It was eight, and then we included Ye and J. We might gotta move Ye into Future Spot at four. Yeah, Future. I don't know though, cause College S- Dropout and Late Registration came out before or not. When did uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy come out? That was this decade, but that was one out. 
You know, got kind of quiet after that. I don't know. I think the Asian make it this for the fact that that ain't like, transform. Niggas buy that shit every time, no matter what the hell. Yeah, Yeezus came out. A couple years after that, but Yeezus wasn't. I like Yeezus, but it wasn't. Yeezus right. impact on the game. It's crazy. I like that shit. It ain't better than Dirty Sprite 2. Hmm? I don't even put this in the I can't even compare it. <laughs> it ain't better, bro. It ain't <laughs> better. That's how we didn't think it of it. It ain't that better. Right, look, all I know is Big Sean in the top 10 of this decade. Man, I can't forget about Life of Pop, bro. You're not putting Chance over Bush. I'm joking. Chance? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, joking. I'm, joking. I'm, joking. I'm like, all right, fuck this list. <laughs> but Big Sean on top 11? Top 11 is good. There's no such thing. What you mean? Top 11. When the fuck have we went in here today? All right, we was about 11 awards. We throwing Travis anywhere in this? No. Oh, shit. I don't know. Big Sean got to drop again. <laughs> hey, I don't Big know. Big Sean got to drop again. To the 10. Huh? How? He hired Big Sean? Who's he knock out? This nigga influence over the last decade has been crazy. He wasn't even... Who's he knock out? We got... Okay. I want to take Ross at the top. No, I can't take Ross. No, because Ross, Ross is Ross way more consistent. Yeah, he got it. It's just 10. Oh shit! We gotta put Travis in the we top ten, bro. We gotta have a Ross conversation after this too. We gotta have a Ross conversation about this. The conversation we was having in the group chat. Oh, about rating Ross albums. Nah, we gotta have a real talk about that shit after we done with this though. Yeah, I think so I Travis. Was some, some of the Ross albums. I was tired of this nigga talking about it, so I was just like, "Yes, I agree." Now answer my damn question. Uh, now, can you answer my question? Well, See, he was just petty. What was your question? My my only point was. I think he was either Maso or Twan that said Raw said one of the best discographies of hip hop. It was Twan. It was Twan. And I was like, yo, why do niggas just say that about Ross? Because he does not have one of the best albums. He got two that are possible. And he has nine albums out and half of them are mid. Yeah, that's true. So if half of your catalog is mid, you do not have one of the best. Both Port of Miami's, Teflon Don. I'm going to say the first one. No, nah, Port of Miami is too sweet. Okay, I I I I'll give him that. That's on fire. But he got some fucking mid on his on his on his catalog. So if half of your albums are, are whack, I can't say y'all one of the best album catalogs. Just because you might got three, two or three classics, maybe. I can't do that. And then he brought up Ye, which was the wildest thing. Yeah. I don't know what. Got, uh, one bad album. I don't know what he was trying to take with the Ye conversation, but it's cool. So Port of Miami too it was a good album. It was. I'm beefing with that, okay? But go ahead. So I, I so if he ain't like that, I know you're not gonna like Bradley You to me. No, that was a that was, that was a terrible album. That was bad. That was a bad album. Yes, that, that was a yeah, bad album, bro. Bradley You to me. What that was a one? bad album. The junk that he just baby on. Mm-hmm. All right, there you go. That's what I'm like. No, you don't. Okay, cool. So the junk was Apple on my eyes here on there. It was um what else was on this junk? John with Ty Dolla Sign, I think she liked me. Whack. That was whack? Listen, the album, I'm not going to like the album. The album is bad. To me. That's me. To me. God okay. forgives I don't was definitely me. Definitely me. And by the way, when I'm saying whack, I'm saying me. So it's not like a bad album, but it wasn't fire. So if it's not fire, we can't call it good. All right, so Hood Billionaire. Not good. Okay, I'll give you that. Mastermind. Mastermind Sweet. Yes, sir. Mastermind Sweet. As a matter of fact, he got three with a possible. God forgives and I don't? No, sir. I like that, John. I had a couple songs, but as a whole, it's a lot of skips. A lot of skips. That John had 16, Amsterdam, Hold Me Back, 911, So Sophisticated. Nah, y'all, Dice Pineapples? Nah, I'm not agreeing with y'all, but okay. Cool. That was out of the radio jumps. It's a, yeah, but it's like 19 tracks hot. Pirates, Three Kings. How many tracks on that song? I mean, I'm on the album. Like 20. It's 17 on here. And I'm exactly. like, bro, I can go. Nah, y'all tripping. So y'all didn't like Pirates, Three Kings? Three Kings is sweet. Okay. Um, Maybach Music. Which one was that? The one with Neo on it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Who was yeah. rapping on it? Nobody. It was just him and Neo. Oh, no. I didn't like that one. Okay. I didn't like that one. 16. 16.5. Hold me back. That's cool. <laughs> Amsterdam. That's cool. 911. What, 911? That's cool. So sophisticated. That's cool. Bro, Ross is never going to make bad music because he's Ross. But when you say he got one of the best albums, you can't just be a cool nigga. 
You can't. That, that was my only point. I'm so at many, four. How many fire hours do you think you got? One, two, three, four, five. All right, see, that's why, that's why I don't like I talking to you. That's why I said three with a pop. That's what I'm saying. I got five. Ross and I have five fire albums. I got yeah, five. Nice. I was beefing with two of them already. I, I got, got five and not both. No, Ross is not. No. I'm not putting Ross nowhere near. Huh? What do y'all rank Ross? Rudy, I don't know. How your list is set up, bro? What do you rank Ross? As far as overall artists? Just what do you rank him? In, in, in your list. He's not in my top 10. He's in your top 30. He, he might crack my top 30. Mm-hmm. You might be like top 60, bro. Mid 70s. My top 30? Top 30. I fuck with Ross. I fuck with Ross too. Especially like nowadays. His transformation was, was good. Mm. I would love to listen to some of his old shit. Mm-hmm. This shit right now, I listen to him. I hate his old rap. It's very hard to make timeless music. He used to repeat the shit out of his head. I don't like, think I Ross rap. makes timeless music. Huh? What? I think he has some timeless records. He definitely got timeless records. But timeless music? Timeless music? No. I can turn on any one of them Ross albums, probably. No, you can't. And that's my problem. No, you can't. Try play Hood Billionaire right now. Okay. Well, yeah, I, that's the one I agree with you on. But out the five that I was saying, timeless music is when you can make, is even when your album cuts is timeless. Not just your radio smashes. Amsterdam wasn't a single. That's not timeless to me. Okay. That was really interesting. <laughs> Wasn't that Kanye record though? Yeah. Yeah, that's not even his record. Kanye makes timeless music. Oh, that's a fact. We can play. Who's arguing that? Yeah. But that's a, that's the difference though. Kanye makes timeless music. I think Wayne made timeless music. Ross, I'm not putting in that category. He has timeless records. I think Dice Pineapples is a timeless record. I love that record. Ashton Martin music, timeless. I got some shit on him though. He got some shit. They got some shit of Thomas records, though. But they all, like... That's some Jones that's on the album. Especially on uh, Teflon Donna. There's some, there's some Thomas records on that job. I don't know. Some special records. All right, man. Show. Damn. Not even Teflon Donna? What's, what we got next on this? Teflon Donna's hard. Teflon Donna's hard. Shit, we ain't even been running down the list, man. We've been, no. we've been freestyling. It's been a good yeah, episode. It's been a good episode, man. Oh, Fab off the hook. Yo, Fab is corny, bro. Why? He's taking pictures with his wife on IG every day. That's what he's supposed to do. No, nah, it's corny. How is that corny? Come tell us. Every day that is corny. Yeah, yeah, every day. Bro, go to his IG. Every picture is him. She dresses with his wife. this nigga. He low enough for the top of the year. Corny. He's low enough for the top of the year. Oh, what? You mean like the uh, cheat again? Or? What? Who you talking about? Who <laughs> you talking about? He's preparing for a good 2020. Oh, with his wife. Yeah. You know what I don't like, fam? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is some real shit, though. You know what I don't like about women? Is that they'll bash the men for being not shit. But they never bash the woman when she goes back to the man. They said it was not shit. Talk about it. Facts. Like, at some point... It's a cycle, though. I think it's just a natural cycle. But if I... You can't call me not shit, and then when my bitch come back, you will never say... Sure, no, my to, bad. We had this wrong. We had this nigga fucked up. Yeah. Because she came back, so maybe I'm a little dope. No. I might be dope. It's just the process. Process of what? It's, it's just life. It's just a process. Like, you know how when people got to die? Just shit like that. Her going back is just a process. It, just, it has to happen. Maybe because he ain't that not nice shit. Yeah. It's just emotions flying at the time. Are you going back to an ain't shit woman? No. There know. you go. It depends. No question. I'm not going back to any shit, woman. It depends. But bitch knock my teeth out. First of all, I'm not. I'm not saying he did that. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. If my teeth got knocked out, but how would a woman knock your teeth out? She might have called me slipping. Yeah, very possible. First off, allegedly, that's what they saying happened in this case. I don't believe it. Okay. That's what they saying happened, but and that's what women use. Out, you would definitely wouldn't go back. I'm with you on that. Yeah. 
I just want to see women be like, we had this nigga fucked up. That's all I want to see. You never see that. I mean, well, Tuan he Tuan jumped out the window and said he don't think Fab even hit the chick no more. Probably did though, and I was with, and I was with him too, man. Cause he makes sense, Tuan. Bring I'm just down. like this for me. Bring it down. For me, it's like if you crap wolf. And then you go back in, back into the house with the wolf. It's just like, what the fuck am I Ooh, supposed to think? Let's talk about it as a bar, nigga. What the fuck am I supposed to think? Like, am I supposed to be I'll sad? Up, man. You're right. It's a bar. Am I supposed to be sad? Am I supposed to be concerned? Should I call the authorities? Fuck no. Because you're going to say everything is fine. That's true. So like, I, I just feel a type of way about that. Like, if you was just going to go back to the nigga, why you even open your mouth? Because they be emotional, bro. That shit's stupid. That's all it is, bro. It's emotions flying. It's emotions and stupidity. It's a lot of women out here that can control their emotions and think normally. That shit is stupidity. But they chemically imbalanced. When they see shit, they speak. That's also true. Yeah, I will say that. Hey, man, shout to Fab, man. You got your family back. Fuck it. It is what it is. But yeah, stop posting pictures with your wife. That's corny. Um, That's not corny. I don't know... You know what? It don't care. It don't matter. You find in love next year. I'm talking to two. You know Ooh, what? Nigga? Mm-hmm. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. Of course I'm not. I belong to the streets, next nigga. Year. I belong to the streets, nigga. I belong to the streets. <laughs> I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm out. What fuck you talking about? Um, let's talk about a chick in the Bronx who faked her own kidnapping. She was crazy. That shit was wild. That shit was crazy. Everybody was concerned like a bitch. Something that was brought to my attention. It says, uh, females are being snatched daily, all day, every day. Mm-hmm. No national news. As soon as one fakes one, fakes a kidnapping, it gets all the news. What's up with that? Hmm. It's a little wild. It's a little wild. I mean, I believe all that shit is strategic, bro. I feel like you're just going to use that shit to take the eyeball off that shit, reduce the funding on that shit, put it towards something else. I thought this story was wild from the jump, though. I ain't gonna front. Man, I, I saw people say that shit. And I hate being a nigga when the stuff like this happens. I was just like, this shit don't make sense. I'm like, she got kidnapped for 24 hours. She got returned, no ransom note. I was just I like, just dropped her off. I was like, this shit look a little, she look a little crazy. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. She back safe. They don't. They, they should have just ran with it. I don't know why she told. Because she's 16, right? Cops do. Yeah. They probably scared. It was like, yo, you know what I mean? But yeah, she said she was in an abusive household. Well, not an abusive household. But her sure. family was, yeah. She no, said her, her family, mom was wanted to send her back to endorse. Yeah, the family ready was trying to move out of the States. So she mm-hmm. wanted to stay in the Bronx with her allegedly 25-year-old boyfriend. Yeah. Which somehow got swept under the rug. Yeah, because I don't know how so like, like, duh, something to get That swept, shit, I'm like, I don't, how, fam. I don't know why people ignore that shit. Like, like, that was a big deal was trying to send her ass back to Honduras. Yeah, Yo, right. That was a big, I'm like, Nigga, this nigga, did y'all just casually say this nigga is 25? 25. Nigga, she's 16. Like, nigga's sick, though. Nigga be sick, dog. Nigga be fucking sick. How your shit get off at, at, on a 16 year old? Yeah. Shit weird. Nigga be fucking weird, man, but God bless Shorty. Um, That's for right. You know what to do with that. Um, but yeah, that shit, was, uh, that shit was crazy. Appreciate you, my dog. She was wild. Um, Tuan brought up a good point. Uh, can women be perverts? Go. Yeah, I agree. They definitely can. I only have to. Yeah, they can. I don't feel like they'll be treated as a pervert in court, though. Oh, you mean like legal perverts? Yeah. Like pervert um, perverts? No. no. Can, they, oh. like, can they be tried oh, as I a pervert? Oh, I didn't know you was taking it there. I thought she was just being like on some, you know, like. I don't feel like a woman can be tried as a pervert. Well, not. Yeah, well, no. Well, no. I'm with you, you know. I told you, nobody cares if a man is molested at a young age. That's facts. Yeah. That's a fact, bro. Well, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. If you're a young man molested by a woman, nobody cares. I mean, they don't care if you break by a dude. They really don't. Yeah. They really don't. But definitely don't care if you break by a woman. That shit's super common. Super What's common. What's wrong with people? <laughs> I always tell you, just, just ask like, some of your friends like they first. What the wrong with people? Niggas be creeps out this bitch, man. That's crazy. Niggas bro. be creeps out this motherfucker. All these people out here. Yeah. There's some shit of people in the world, bro. Shit Somebody want to sleep with you. Somebody will love you. But I still think they do it for the power thing. I don't think it's like an attraction. I think they do it for the power thing. 
I think it's both. Could be both? I think it's both. No, I'm just attracted to underage kids. That too. Nasty. Niggas is fucking creeps out this bitch, man. Yeah. Niggas is fucking creeps, though. Yeah. Some scary times out this bitch, man. Protect the kids, man. Definitely protect the kids. Protect your fucking kids. I ain't seen too many of the Santa Claus uh, bashers on Wednesday. They want to go hard. Because niggas be cap, bro. Niggas be cool. all cap all line. I mean, all, all year. Santa Claus bashers? Yeah, nigga, Man. you. Not you. Not no, you. you. You're not. I don't think you're... You're kind of... Twan's a Santa Claus basher. Twan's that's a Santa Claus, Claus basher. Well, what, what, did I, what did you see from me? Nothing. So you say you was going to ruin your son's Christmas, though. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's what you said. He did not what say did that. What did I say that? You said that. I don't even have a son. I'm saying your future son. <laughs> hey, let's start there. Your future son, you was going to say that. That's you said you was going to tell him Santa Claus not real at four. He didn't say he was going to ruin his Christmas. That's ruining the kid's Christmas, though. It's not. Because niggas mean, still got shit. Tell him at the top of the year. Man, he gonna ruin other kids Christmas because he gonna go to school lunch and be like, "Yo, by the way, Santa Claus ain't real, guys." That's that's gonna happen. And then the whole school fucked up because you want to be woke. Because I want to be woke. <laughs> and then the whole cafeteria is sad in this bitch. You know, always gonna be a kid at school that's gonna tell. Them. It's always gonna be a sad kid. Hey, I'm gonna let my kids just tell us. Fuck it. Your kids believe in Santa Claus? Mm-hmm. Okay. See how easy it is. Just, just to let kids believe what they want to believe in. Real shit though. They be that easy. I was ready. To, I was ready to say something, but then I felt like I was in a lot of backlash. I caught myself. No, no. Hey, shout out to all the chicks though who ain't mm-hmm. had a boyfriend on Christmas. You can't get put in Facebook jail up here. What the fuck? No matter. No matter. What you say? Hmm? All the chicks that they, they had their boyfriend. What you say? So I thought the chicks ain't had a boyfriend on Christmas, dog. So a lot of niggas got kids that I ain't know had kids. My point. That was, that, 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 that was the getaway move. Like, yo, I'm going to go spend time with the family over here. And then I'm like, yo, I got to stay with the, you know, I'm going to just sleep over here. How niggas be having their kids? It's a good question, bro. Maybe they're not having their kids. Maybe they're having the world from their kids. Mmm. Nah, man. Nah, man. That's deep. You feel me? Keep your phone. Know what I'm saying? I don't even know what's going on. I can't even see trash. it. I can't even see it. I text you trash on camera. Okay. <laughs> what the text was? I can see it. How much she always slept? Trash. Damn, Ty. How you missed the last episode of the year? Trash. Damn. Y'all wild. The school, though. But yeah, um, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. He was, niggas wasn't having their kid. Niggas was having the world from their kid. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. You know what I'm saying? Because the world is crazy. You think about it. And if you think about it, that's that's the Fair best way enough. to do it. I think if I had a child, I don't think I'll post my child. I mean, I think that picture shit overrated. Like, I be in the moment, bro. Like, that should be like niggas that gotta take a picture. Like, stop here and they gotta take the shit five different times. Like, yeah. like, nigga, we got some shit we can't even do that. We like, yeah. Niggas ain't even enjoy the moment no more. Yeah, that shit trash. That's facts. Fuck it, though. Fuck it. I would say I do need to start taking more pictures, though. You don't? Know, just enjoy the life, man. No, I do want to, like, be like, hey, remember we was there? Memories, man. All right. You're going to have pictures for when you die. I'm going to be dead. But not for you, stupid. <laughs> 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 All right, fam. Look down. I think that was it. Yo, your phone, your phone lock on with us. I think we almost done, though. Odyssey of the Decade, Drake. Drake, Kendrick. No, Drake, Cole, Kendrick. Yeah. Before we wrap up, real quick. And if you're listening, we're going to put out the list of the, the full 25 songs of the decade. But if you had to pick one song of the decade right now, your personal favorite. What would you My pick? personal favorite. Oh, man. It's going to be for one of the three. That's the craziest thing about it. It's for one of the three. I'm with you though. I, th- I like March Madness. March Madness is a really good song. March Madness, though. That was my shit. That was my fucking shit. We're going, we're going rap, so. That was my shit. What you got? That's tough for me, bro. I'm not against March Madness, though, but I think I'll pick something else that I've like, thought about it. The decade is long. Yeah. Somebody brought up a good point. Like, that swag surf shit has lasted way longer than it should have. When did that come out? 
That came on the 09, top of 09. Damn. That, that shit has lasted. Count? It gotta count. I do count, yeah. Yeah, it got to. That was a big, I thought that shit would have died by now, but that shit played at every college party to this day. Yep. At every sporting event. It's, 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 it's a little played out, but yeah, to your point, yeah. I don't know if it's because the sound big or because fucking DJ and copy each other. That's funny. They copy me sets because they see reactions. Yep. But it's still get a reaction though. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, if it's a large crowd and that shit come on, niggas lit. Yeah. Niggas lit. But yeah, I would say March Madness is one. Um, shit, I would say. Drake definitely got one somewhere. I would say, yeah, I gotta say Drake got one somewhere. He got, got too many to name. Um, I like I'm on one. I'm Cal- on Cal- one. That was my Cal- shit. Cal- that was my shit. Cal- Cal- definitely got one. Man, when I'm so hooked about this decade. No, that was last decade. No. When it came out, eight. Something like that. It definitely came when out. Who was like in middle school? Yeah. No, wait. I'm bugging. Yeah, Damn, you right. Oh yeah, yeah that's good one. Damn, that shit came out a minute. It was out before we graduated. But Cal is old too, man. Yeah, Cal has been out for um, a minute. Shit, one dance was my shit though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that was my shit. Um. Yeah, it's a couple records, man. Hot nigga was a, that was a big fucking record. Yeah, a big fucking record. Um, all the viral records. All the yeah, for real. Do the Migos got one? Bad and bougie. Bad and bougie, shit, for real. Got for bad and bougie up there. Versace, nigga. Versace set it off. Yes. I feel like bad and bougie was a just took them to a whole another level. Oh, they yeah. didn't see they was going to. Yeah. What Drake did? Yeah. Big man on bad and bougie. Shout out Uzi. What are you talking about? I thought you were talking about Versace. No, I'm no. talking about. Bad oh, I'm bad, 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 bad. No, that yeah, bad and bougie did for real. Yeah. Yeah. Meek Mill, I'm a boss. That's one of my favorite records. That shit still ring off to me. To me, that shit hard as a motherfucker. Hard, hard. That's facts. Yeah, man. Same damn time. Shit, Future got one. Of, he got another one. Yeah. That shit used to ring off, dog. Yeah. That shit used to ring off like a motherfucker. Yeah, man. But yeah, we, we'll probably put out the list. We'll definitely do it by New Year's. I mean. And Boosie missed the cutoff, didn't it? Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't really hot shit after that. Oh, I ain't got some joints in there for you too, man. That ring off. Couple of them. Especially in Carter 3 came out oh seven. We was in high school. That came out, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. It definitely came out when we was in high school. Chicago. It might have came out of 09 and Carter 3. Nah, Carter 3, I think we was out of school. Nah, we was nah, in was 08, yeah. Okay, he's only just missed it. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if we ain't got any this decade. Carter 4 came out in 11, though. That's in the decade. Oh, shit, we didn't even mention one. Yo, Big Sean got to fall out of the top 15. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought about it. He got to fall out of the top 15. Sorry, bro. But yeah, I think my top minutes. 15. He got far the top 10. That's what we're talking about. I know. Yeah. We got about that one. That's fine. But yeah, I'm going with March Madness as my pick for the song of the decade. Because when that shit came out, nigga, that song was a fucking moment. That is true. I was living downtown, bro. I think I was in North Carolina, CIAA. We missed some miss cheap key records. Oh my God! Finito, yeah. Finito is the my song. Of the I don't decade. like. How would you get? I don't like. I don't like. Yeah. I'm oh sorry. But Finito, Yo, Finito, I'm sorry, bro. Hey, let's be real. Finito is a little. It's it's a little trash. When you it, in it, that I mean, shit, it's a little trash. I, I I get it. You're right. When you right. like when you're, you're in right. a party with that shit, bro. That that whole wrong. vibe is crazy. Yeah, that's you're not wrong. You're not antidote. Wrong. Antidote. Yeah. Oh. I'm with you on track. Antidote. I, I, I say hey. shit live. Antidote. Hey. Antidote. goes up. Antidote goes up. I ain't gonna front. Antidote. Antidote goes. Oh, um, she probably got another one. Sickle mode. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Sickle mode. Definitely sickle mode. Maria, I'm drunk. Got a couple jumps. Got a couple jumps. But that's all he got with future. Um, the 1500 jump. Whatever. Oh, that shit hard. Yeah. It's a lot of good songs this decade, bro. Hell yeah. I think we're going to look back, man. People say this era was whack, man, but we're going to look back and say that this was the second golden era. The same way niggas talk about the 90s, bro, we're going to look back and be like, damn. I like some of the young niggas I think, that I think that can give us something for the next 10. We it's not like, too many. 
Who y'all like for the next young niggas? That's, next tough. That's tough, bro. This just depends on which box I was shooting for. Depends on who got the best record deal, honestly, bro. Well, I don't think we ever gonna see a Drake again. I like Roddy. I think Roddy might have a nice little run. It depends on his record. Deal. I think he might be like Future. All these right. niggas' first album be like yeah, promising. I, say, I feel like we had the beginning, like, uh, like, like it's a restart, right? Gotta wait for a minute to mm-hmm. find out who's gonna be nice. Cause everybody just started right now. For real. Yeah, it's like a restart. It's fresh. Even like niggas that's been doing it for a minute they got to like go back to the drawing board. I like Roddy. I like the baby. Yeah. I like Meg. Yeah. Then they, they gonna be around. Yeah, I just need they need some time to mature. <laughs> who they sounds? Yeah. All of them. Well, yeah, because they see it, man. You know, they, they still brand spanking new, so they still trying to find themselves as a sound. It's facts. It's crazy. I feel like Meg has the best overall sound out of a lot of niggas. Uh, I, ain't I, I feel like she's the same. I don't want to say she over no that. I feel the same way about her as I feel like the baby. Like, I feel like she got the most direction. She the same raps out. Where yeah. is she going? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, she got her lane. Wait, what? What happened? The baby niggas gonna stop caring about the baby next year because this nigga beat still sound the same. I feel like Megan, it's she working definitely, though. It's working. I mean, it's on. working. I think probably gonna be baby up. hot. Yeah, baby hot, bro. He hot, hot. But Meg hot too. I only want to turn nah, it to Meg hot too. So I'm like, I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Bro. This ain't even shit. Salute to both of them. If I had to pick one man, one female, that's what I'm picking. That's what I'm picking. All right, fuck it, man. But um, yeah, so. Any last thoughts, man? Last show of 2019. Last show. Hey, let's all take a shot on camera before we close the show, man. Put a bottle up, beloved. Let's get that bottle right there behind you. You know what I'm saying? Let's go and get that. Let's get a shot. But yeah, I got it, bro. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you get up and get the nah. shit. <laughs> there we go. Nah, man, I'll be right back. Man, y'all, y'all talk about something. Let me talk about the cowboys. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. God damn it. Cheesy Press stop keys. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we back. You know what I mean? Quick little pause break. Hey, get the bottle. But yeah, fellas. But um, as I was saying, man, any last thoughts for as the 2019 comes to an end? No shots in 2020. Learn how to make drinks. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, erase that part of the podcast. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know what the hell Twan talking about. Shots. I don't know what the hell Twan talking about. I'm with Twan. I'm a shot nigga. Only time I like taking shots was in competitions or something in college. Hey man, look, bro, shots shots get you started, bro. Yeah, do. Now when you gotta go to work. I mean, at least you gotta go to work. Yeah, keep telling me. Give me a light, give me a light one. Yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah, make you all the trouble. Give me a light. That's it. That's all you, right? That's all you. Pull up for our cameraman. Salute to that nigga. Oh no, year. The more hot shit coming. Yeah, man. We ain't gonna talk about it. We gonna be about it. That's what I'm talking about, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. So, so yeah, everybody in Chicago, we get a lot of love in Chicago. We do, bro. Why we get love in Chicago? Shout out to y'all know, niggas. We need to go take a trip. Maybe you got to take a trip to Chicago. I, Shout out to R. Kelly Point Guard. Shout out to R. Kelly Point Guard. Shout out to Lizzo for making Black content. Gang. Shout out to Black Gang. Yeah. Black gang. <laughs> Shout out to Lizzo for keeping the content. For real. That's why I love Fat Girls of Confidence, but we ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that, you feel me? Let's take a shot, fellas. Let's I like salute. your music, Lizzo. Let's like take a salute, you know what I mean? I like the music too. Pull up. Hey man, oh, salute no. to y'all yeah, niggas, man. man. Everything is good. Right yeah. And with that, see y'all in 2020, man.